Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Volo Video. This time we're talking about the Bay Area, Bay Bridge, Treasure Island, and a 1993 Cadillac. Let's check it out. Hey, that's right, bringing it back to the late 90s, talking about up in the Bay Area, Northern California. You know, I lived there in San Leandro and me cruising around on the Volo, cruising on the boulevards, getting to know some of the local guys out there. One of the guys I met was Gonzo. That was the name he went by, uh, Juan, to others, but uh, man, Mr. Gonzo, he had a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome, one of the few out on the streets low riding back in, in this time in the late 90s. Those Cadillacs were still pretty new at the time, so they were they were worth a lot of money, you know, and uh, Gonzo did it. He had one that was candy painted. It was it had patterns. He had the rims, the hydraulics. It was just a real cool car and it stood out, you know, like crazy among all the other G-bodies and uh, Impalas. This Cadillac w was definitely one of, of the few out there. Uh, so I had been shooting photography at local car shows and and doing my own shoots just for the fun of it. I had a little website that I ran, one of the few low riding websites back in the late 90s. And uh, I actually got contacted by Street Low Magazine. Shout out to Gilbert, um, the, the publisher, editor of, of Street Low, you know, um, good guy even to this day, he's still doing Street Low, so I, I definitely give him props. But, uh, you know, thanks to Gilbert for reaching out to me back then and, and they had seen my website and they, they needed some photographers uh, out in the East Bay area where I was. They were down in the South Bay by San Jose. Uh, so, you know, I, I gladly accepted. I, I, it was my first time shooting for a published magazine. Even though Street Low wasn't that big at the time, it was just cool to be contacted and recognized by somebody. So I, I gladly accepted. I told them there was a car that I really wanted to shoot. Told them about Gonzo and they said, yeah, go for it. So of course I wanted to pick a, a good location, a big, you know, backdrop, something that would really uh, pop with with uh, Gonzo's Fleetwood. So, um, I, in my mind, I was thinking about Treasure Island. It's this small uh, island used to be used by uh, the military uh, back in the day, and um, it's in between Oakland and San Francisco. You have to get on the Bay Bridge, go about halfway down, and there's an exit for Treasure Island. So uh, I told Gonzo about it. He was cool with the idea. He was happy to be featured in the magazine. Magazine, we made it happen. So uh, we went down there to Treasure Island, got some great shots of the caddy. We used a model. We even had some shots of the car hopping. And then on our way back to uh, the Oakland side, we were on the Bay Bridge and Gonzo started hopping on the Bay Bridge, you know, as we're driving. So I stuck my camera out the window, got some photos of him doing that. Had to have been the first ever Fleetwood hopping on the Bay Bridge, you know, and, and we were able to capture it there. Uh, and, and this was back in like 98, 99, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, such a cool shoot. I was really happy with the photos. I turned them into Gilbert over at Street Low. Didn't know what he was gonna do with them, if he was gonna run a one-page feature, two-page feature for Gonzo's car. But lo and behold, when the feature came out, bam, it was right there on the cover of Street Low Magazine. So I, I was so happy, you know, to, to get that cover spot. I was just happy to be featured or to have a published, you know, f my photos published in, in a magazine, but to get that cover spot is really cool. And they used one of those pictures of Gonzo hopping too. So uh, yeah, definitely a memorable shoot. Uh, one, you know, one of my first and definitely my first published feature. I went on to shoot for Street Low a few more times. Um, I want to say maybe 10 more times. You know, it, it was it was a good amount. Ended up doing some shoots for Orly's Low Riding Magazine. They were based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, so that was cool. And then ultimately I moved down to Southern California, Orange County, and uh, started shooting for Low Rider Magazine for many years. So um, much love to all the publications and all they do to 
uh, show love to the low riding community and uh, you know I thank them all for the opportunities they gave me and big shout out to Gonzo to this day he runs his own custom wheel shop and uh, man I'm glad he did to see he's still involved with cars custom cars he's got his own custom cars still um, so definitely hit him up I'll put his link here on uh, on this video to his Instagram but um, yeah wanted to share that story with you guys hope you liked it and by the way I got to give a shout out to Cadillac Connect out there in Orange County you know they're always doing great things for Cadillac owners you know especially if you've got the 90s Fleetwoods or the 80s um, square bodies you know if you need parts hit them up all right till the next episode we'll see you around take care